Flash flooding we saw this past weekend throughout Kentuckiana and right here on Eastern Parkway near U of L is putting a renewed focus on the city's drainage systems and how to best pump the water out of areas that always flood and have done so for decades. 11 and 11's Robert Bradfield has been talking with one Metro Council member tonight who wants to see something done before the end of this year and uh, Robert that's going to take some money. It's going to take some money, but they are hoping that it will happen before December. Councilman David James and two other council members tried to get something done about a year ago, but they did not have enough support from their colleagues because it would involve an MSD rate increase to you. But James says Saturday's death of a cab driver who drowned in flood water should be reason enough to fix the city's aging infrastructure. In this area of Louisville on Saturday, over four inches of rain was recorded, even higher amounts just nearby. Flash flooding was reported throughout the city, with a cab driver found submerged in his vehicle in this viaduct at 13th and Oak. MSD has been telling us for a couple years now, we have major infrastructure issues. Metro Council President David James says one of those issues is flooding at several viaducts. Water can pool for hours when the drainage system is overwhelmed and can't pump it out. Our emergency first responders know that the, the fire trucks have a hard time getting to where they need to go because of those viaducts flooding. MSD can raise rates up to 6.9% each year, but it must have Metro Council approval for an increase above that. But late last year, James's resolution to allow MSD to raise rates up to 9.9% for the next four years did not get the approval of the majority of council members. There are 34 viaducts in the city of Louisville. The rate increase would pay for upgrades on the 32 viaduct drainage and pumping systems controlled by MSD, which MSD says would cost $435 million. I know that wages have not been keeping up with inflation, and I understand that, that costs have continued to go up. So we are trying to find the best way that we can do it with the least financial impact upon our citizens. James plans to introduce legislation this year that would better fund infrastructure needs, allowing MSD to earmark money from rate increases to help pay for what he calls certain safety projects. And viaducts are just one component of what James says are important infrastructure projects. MSD says improvements to the city's wastewater, stormwater, and flood protection will cost $4.3 billion over the next 20 years. Robert Bradfield, 11 at 11.